Hi, it's Chris with Wannabe Honey Farms. Um, I'm using a piece of crap camera today that didn't work out for me, so I'm going to have to do voiceover work on this. Anyway, if you like the channel, subscribe. Uh, anyway, we're going to move on. What we're doing today is we're making a Russian Scion. I got a piece of board, uh, just extra lumber laying around the yard, and uh, I got some burlap at the horse store. What? Horse store? You don't understand what I'm talking about? Well, a horse store is where they sell like horse saddles, horse tack, things like that. It's a horse store. So anyway, I got the burlap at the horse store, and um, we're going to start putting together the scion. I'm going to drill a hole through the bucket here. Uh, that is to attach to my actual lure uh, that I'm later going to cover. So what we're doing... We're going to now screw that in. I'm using a rubber washer so that nothing uh, comes down and uh, gets the board wet. I want to, it's a piece of crap board, but I want to keep it in, as intact as long as possible. Okay, now we're going to measure out the burlap and cut that down to size. Then I'm going to wrap it and staple it to the board. I like uh, the burlap because it's uh, got a nice texture to it. It's nice and rough, and the bees can easily hang on to it. Um, all this stuff is really cheap. The only thing that I actually bought for this, I think, was the burlap and the eye bolt up on top. The rest was just two pieces of lumber and a chunk of rope that I had laying around the house. Okay, when it comes to do-it-yourself stuff around the house, I'm probably the most inept person that you'll ever meet in your life. So if you're saying, I would have done this, I would have done that, I don't care. I know I'm an idiot when it comes to putting stuff together, but uh, I just kind of throw it together and hope it pans out in the end. Those are the brackets that are going to go on my shed. Um, I had a Russian Scion kind of set up, but my reasons for moving it over to my shed... Uh, will become apparent here in a minute. So we're going to drill some guide holes first. And then screw that thing into place. Okay, now all I'm doing is I'm going to run some rope through there. I'm going to tie it off with just a loop onto the scion itself so that it's uh, kind of a quick release. I can just pull that loop out and carry the scion over to where I want to dump my bees. And then just uh, tie a knot on top, and there you have it, Russian scion. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is I'm going to give it a couple squirts with some Swarm Commander uh, as a lure. Okay, this is where my bees are currently, and you can see over here is my wood pile. It's covered up. This uh, winter, I'm going to move my bees over to where the wood pile is, and the the Russian scion will only be probably. Okay, I'm going to move my bees over to the where the wood pile is, and the scion will only be probably about 20 feet from it this winter. That area gets more sun, and I think it'll be a better place for the bees overall in the event that they swarm. I got. Uh, I don't have a neighbor that they're gonna jump into their yard. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like it. Bye.